This is WV Guns and Goats, and today we have a Turknelli M4. This is the AXA S4 imported by SDS Imports as the S4. I saw a video today that TFB TV put out about the Turknelli M4 clones, and well, he wasn't having very good luck with his. I haven't had issues with this one, knock on wood, because now that we're on video, we will probably choke. But I've got about 500 rounds of various loads of this shotgun. I just wanted to bring it out here tonight and to show you guys how a properly functioning Turknelli M4 will run if you get a good one. All right, so we'll just go over a few things on this shotgun as just a quick overview because this is mostly a shooting video. Uh, we've got a Salvo 12 choke mount on there. What I'm not running the Salvo 12 tonight, just so people aren't saying, well, the can was giving it extra back pressure, and that's the only reason it was working. No, we're running it without the can tonight. Got a B&T rail. Normally, this rail is uh, about what I paid for this gun, but I snagged this one on Gunbroker Dirt Cheap. Larger charging handle. Got a Tauros T4 field stock on here. And I will say, before I go into this, just to be 100% transparent with this shotgun, I have installed a Benelli M4 extractor onto this bolt as well as a Benelli M4 recoil spring. Those are the two Benelli parts that I've put in this gun so let's see how it runs. We've got the Black Aces Tactical double lot buck that is 12 gauge two and three quarter 1425 feet per second one and a fifth ounce of double lot buck. We're gonna do five rounds of each of these shells today. I have an assortment of multiple shells to try in the shotgun. So let's go ahead and load it up. Lock the bolt back. Round in. We put our safety on. The bolt catch is still, or I'm sorry, the shell catch is still very, very tight in this shotgun. So, Black Aces Tactical, double lot buck. Fired all five, ejected all five. All right, next up we have Remington Nitro Sporting Clays. These are older shells. I've had these for probably about 10 years now. These are 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1300 feet per second velocity with one and an eighth ounce of seven and a half shot. Nitro Gold. Now about that Benelli extractor, that was fairly easy to change, only requiring a small punch to drive out the pin, and then it was able to just change out for the new extractor and drive that pin back into place. Seven and a half, Remington, Birdshot, Nitro Gold. Fired all five, ejected all five. Locked back upon magazine empty. All right, guys, we're getting lower velocity. Cheaper ammo, you all know this. This is the Winchester white box from Walmart. 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1200 feet per second, one and an eighth ounce of number eight shot. Just my preferred round because it's cheap and fun just to blast away with it. I can feel the uh, shell catch actually getting lighter now. Let's go ahead and see if this runs. Fired all five, ejected all five, and locked back on empty. Just to make sure that wasn't a fluke, we have got older Winchester Universals. This is the older stuff Walmart used to sell. 
12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1200 feet per second. Now this is one and an eighth ounce of seven and a half shot. This older stuff used to be known for not being that powerful. So let's see if it works. Fired all five rounds, locked back when empty. Guys, next we're going to get into some much lower velocity rounds. we are got, I believe, 1145, and we're going to end with some subsonic 980 feet per second Winchester. All right, guys, this is the Winchester AA, 70 years. I've seen this stuff just coming into Walmart now. This is 12 gauge, two and three quarters, 1145 feet per second one and an eighth ounce of number eight shot. I have not tried this load through this shotgun, but we'll see if she keeps going. As you can see with that lower velocity, the ejection isn't as violent. However, it chugged through them. Five rounds, locked back on empty. All right, well, here it is, the challenge. This is Winchester AA, low recoil, low noise target loads, 12 gauge, two and three quarters, minimum load of powder, 980 feet per second velocity. 26 grams of number eight shot. Guys, this is the lightest stuff I could find. Uh, I usually save this for my Salvo 12 because out of a pump, it's a lot of fun. We'll see how it does out of the Turknelli M4. All right, here we go. All right, so as you can see, we had one stoppage there with the subsonic loads. I don't know if I'd really count that as an issue because that's not something you're gonna run across very often. Those loads are made for pump action shotguns and over and unders for a trap load. They generally don't cycle semi-autos at all, but this Turkish Benelli M4 ate them up. I don't really know if I'd count that as a problem or not. Got those Winchester Universes loaded up again. Let's go ahead and try something. Away from the body. Oh, cycled that one. All right, guys, that's been another WV Guns and Goats video. This time it was on the AXA S4 Turk Nelly. I wasn't really planning on making this video until I saw the TFB TV video drop and he said he had a lot of people asking for him to do a review of one. Uh, however, he seemed to have multiple issues with his and I just wanted to make a video about what a good one looks like. If you decide to buy one of these, you're going to want to first take it apart, clean it, check it for rough edges. As I said, the Aluminum receiver here was so sharp it was cutting me. I took a file to it. That took about five minutes to do or less. Um, cleaned it, oiled it, Loctited the top rail down to make sure it wasn't going anywhere. And that's the thing with these Turkish guns. You may have to tinker on them a little bit, but the Benelli M4 pattern is so easy to take apart that it wasn't a problem, unlike some of the designs coming out of Turkey where they're their own original designs that are really hard to take apart that's one reason I stuck with this one. It's already been a proven design. It was like 400 bucks. It makes a good beat around shotgun. The One of the other complaints I have about this gun is the finish. The finish is absolute garbage on it. It scratches real easy. However, I don't really care. 
it's just a beat around shotgun semi-auto range toy so that's my thoughts on the axa s4 shooting a bunch of different loads through it as you saw in the video i thank you guys for watching leave a comment and subscribe and remember if you're not out there having fun shooting what are you doing <laughs>